Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we're talking about Jose Rizal and the struggle for Filipino independence. From an early age, Jose Rizal stood out from his peers. In preparatory school, he won contests for his poetry. He attended medical school in Manila with a specialization in ophthalmology, graduating with honors. In 1882, he traveled to Europe and continued his education. He excelled at everything he put himself to. As well as being a licensed doctor, he was also an acclaimed artist producing drawings, sculptures, poems, and novels. He was able to hold a conversation in over 20 languages. By 1887, he had completed his ophthalmological training and published his first novel. He continued to travel for most of the rest of his life, living in Brussels, Berlin, Hong Kong, Madrid, and Marseille. He returned to the Philippines in 1892, where he worked to improve the lives of Filipinos for the rest of his life. As a student in Spain, Rizal wrote for the reform newspaper La Solidaridad under pen names. His core ideas in these writings were representation for the Philippines in the Spanish parliament, freedom of speech and assembly, equal rights before the law, and greater Filipino representation in the clergy. He's most remembered for his two novels, No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo. The novels are written from the perspective of a Filipino trying to improve his world, only to be met with corruption and oppression at the hands of the government and the clergy determined to maintain the status quo. Even though the work was banned, smuggled copies found their way to the archipelago. The pair of novels helped to forge a Filipino identity and today are required reading in all Filipino high schools. Jose Rizal did not take part in any armed uprising in the Philippines, nor did he condone them. And yet his name is cited by every revolutionary and reform group from the era as a direct inspiration and catalyst to their cause. Because of his writings and his reputation, in 1892 he was exiled from Manila to Dapitan in the south of the archipelago. When fighting broke out in 1896, led by the militant secret society Katipunan, Rizal refused to support it. Later that year he was arrested and he disavowed the revolution in a manifesto from his jail cell. Despite this, he was charged with rebellion and treason and executed by firing squad in December of 1896. Today, roads and towns across the Philippines are named for him, and monuments stand in his honor around the world. He was the face of the two peso bill from 1903 until 1981. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? Which series of banknotes issued in the Philippines featured the Rizal Monument in Manila? If you think you know, let me know in the comments and I'll reveal the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do you have any Filipino banknotes in your collection? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.